piece, I just wanted to take a moment and build briefly about something that I noticed over the years with the conscious community and the black nationalist community in regards to autonomy, self-determination, and really being able to define our own destiny. Uh, one of the things is when you hear people talking about we need to support black business, we need to support our own, we need to do for self, a lot of these same people are doing things that are counterproductive to that actual message. Now, for example, you may see people who are performing artists, whether they're doing spoken word or whether they're doing hip hop and they're doing videos or performing publicly, or you may see people who are doing book signings as authors or people that's going around doing lectures or even the way people use their social media, their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You see them whenever they have an opportunity, they're advertising and supporting these brands and labels that they're not brand ambassadors for. And they're sitting there stunting and flossing with these corporate entities that are not reflective of their own people. So when I hear people talking about we need to black out Black Friday, we need to black out this, black out that, we need to black out some of these labels that I see people promoting and these sports teams that people are advocating. Sometimes I may see people that's going around doing lectures and they rocking mug cloth and kente print and then got new era caps on to strive to match their Afrocentric uh, attire. I think that's counterproductive. You know, one of the things that you may notice about me in all of my videos, as well as the way I use my social media, I'm not on Instagram, but the way I use my Facebook and my Twitter, you rarely, if ever, see me wearing some kind of label or fashion uh, company or sports team that is not reflective of my own people. You know, if, if I'm wearing some type of shirt with a certain logo on it, I'm not showing you no logo. If I got a certain hat on that has some kind of label on it, you're not gonna see no label on the hat that I'm wearing because I understand my platform. I understand that I'm not gonna advertise any kind of companies that are not reflective of our own people. And I think that those of us who call ourselves black conscious and nationalistic, and we need to demonstrate a lot more discipline in terms of really doing for self and supporting our own. So one of the things that I would encourage those of you to do is be more conscious of what you're sitting here advertising and representing. If you're in a video and you're a hip hop artist, find some companies that are black businesses or local companies or people who are upstarts and support their brand. If you got your own brand, only wear that. Only wear that. Don't be out here rocking certain hats and sports teams and all this other stuff that you're not no brand ambassador for and that you are not getting any money behind. That is not reflective of self-determination, autonomy, and being able to define our own financial destiny as a group of people. So that is one thing we need to do. If you're on Instagram and Facebook and all of this other stuff, you can still look fresh to death without saying you rocking the new J's or something like that. Get with the company or brand that is reflective of your own people. If you are going around doing uh, lectures or you're an author, Wear brands that will allow you to expose companies that need that type of support. Nike don't need that support. New Era don't need no type of advertisement from you. So that is one of the things that I just wanted to speak on. If we want to support black businesses and to support our own and to do for self and all of this stuff, it takes more than just blacking out Black Friday. Or it takes more than just blacking out that. We need to black out them labels and to support our own. So I will, this was inspiring, empowering, it was educating, and gave those of you a little bit of insight into some of the things that I've noticed and things that we need to be a little bit more conscious of. If we're really dedicated to supporting our own, then let's do that. Let's black out these labels and only support those labels and those sports teams or those companies that are reflective of our interests as a people. And if you are wearing something that is from somewhere else and it is of a major brand or a label, if you're not a brand ambassador, you do not need to be advertising to support that. Just don't show it. Peace.